Hello everybody, watch this video to find out how to make your life easier if you are using macOS. Get to know keyboard shortcuts to use your Mac more efficiently. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. macOS has a lot of functions, and using its keyboard shortcuts is an excellent way to master this operating system, improve its performance, and make your work process more convenient. Today, we will explore not only basic combination of keys for copy and paste operations, but also some advanced tricks that will speed up your work in various apps. Using hotkeys for navigation, switching between apps, managing the windows and many other things, you'll be able to change the way you work with your Mac and make the most of its hidden potential. All of that because using keyboard shortcuts is not only a quick way to save time, but also an effective method to optimize your working routine. For starters, let's consider basic shortcuts to make your everyday tasks easier. We'll show how to copy and paste things, uh, open new tabs in your browser and switch between running applications. For example, to copy files or text, use the shortcut Command plus C. It will help you copy an, any selected file or text. To paste the copied file elsewhere, press the key combination Command plus V. This way you can quickly transfer a file from one directory to another. To cut a file or text, press the key shortcut Command plus X. After that, this file or text can be pasted somewhere else by pressing Command plus V, which performs the insert action. These keyboard shortcuts will help you when dealing with text, files and other data. Another combination is Command plus T. Use it to open a new tab in a browser or application. It is especially helpful when you work with web browsers or applications where new windows need to be opened quickly. If you have several applications running, you can switch between them using this combination – Command plus Tab. It quickly takes you from one app to another. To switch between windows of the same application, use the keyboard shortcut Command plus tilde. It will take you from one task or app to another in no time. Finally, to close the running application, press Command plus Q. When you want to stop working with an app, this shortcut will help you close it immediately and free up some system resources. If you need to find a specific app, open the search window in Spotlight. Press the key shortcut Command plus Space. This search will help you find files, apps and other items on your Mac. Spotlight gives you quick access to files and functions on your computer, which makes it a powerful tool for everyday use in macOS. Alright, we have had a look on basic keyboard shortcuts, and now it's time to explore more advanced options. Let's find out how to quickly switch between application windows, use Mission Control for effective navigation of the desktop, and how to manage windows size and location. The following keyboard shortcut is used to open Mission Control – F3 or Control plus up arrow. When you press it, Mission Control opens and shows you thumbnails of all open windows and desktops on your computer. Mission Control makes it easier to navigate and organize your workspace, which is especially useful when dealing with a number of open windows and running apps. If you tend to use multiple applications at the same time, the function is to switch from one desktop to another and it will help you to put things to right. Use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus left arrow or right arrow to switch between desktops. To close the current window of a running application, press Command plus W. This combination will help you save the time when working with application windows. 
Another shortcut will come in handy when you need to move on or resize windows. To switch a window to full screen mode, press the three keys – Ctrl plus Command plus F. And if you press them again, the window will revert to its original size. To open a new window in the active application, press Command plus N. To minimize a window, press the keyboard shortcut Command plus M. The combination Command plus H hides the current window. And if you press Command plus Option plus H, it will hide all windows except the active application. Finally, press Command plus Q to close a window or app. With the help of these combinations, managing your app windows becomes more convenient and quicker. There are also certain keyboard shortcuts for text processing, which will speed up your work with it. For example, you can move from word to word or from line to line using the following combinations. Option plus left arrow or right arrow to move between words. And Command plus left arrow or right arrow to jump to the beginning or the end of the line. If you need to add special symbols or emojis to your text, press Ctrl plus Command plus Space. As a result, the panel of symbols and emojis will open, and you'll be able to add a bit of creativity to your text. If you need to change your keyboard layout quickly, press the key shortcut Ctrl plus Space, which uh, works as quick switching between keyboard layouts. We have already mentioned such operations as copy, cut and paste, and you can access them with the following shortcuts. Command plus A – select all, Command plus C – copy, Command plus X – cut, Command plus V – paste. To find text in a system utility or application, press Command plus F. To save changes in a document, use Command plus S. Another shortcut is meant to cancel the last action – Command plus Z. For example, this shortcut can restore a deleted piece of text, a cut file, or cancel the last thing you did in this or another application. On the other hand, the shortcut Command plus Shift plus Z will repeat the last action. These keyboard shortcuts will make your text processing and editing easier in any app you can run on your Mac. Now let's have a look at some system commands. Command plus space. Open Spotlight to find and quickly launch applications. Command plus comma opens Finder settings. To shut down a specific application, use the shortcut Command plus Option plus Escape. And you will see the window called Force Quit Applications. Option plus Command plus D will help you hide and restore the dock panel. Ctrl plus Command plus Q will lock the screen. And Option plus Shift plus Command plus Q will sign you out of the current macOS user account. The combination Command plus Option plus Eject or Power, if your keyboard has this physical button, is used to put Mac into sleep mode. It sends the signal for the computer to go to sleep, which is the same as if you were pressing the Power button. If your Mac doesn't respond to this shortcut, please make sure that the Eject or Power button works properly, and check the selected options in System Settings to see if this shortcut has not been modified or disabled. To restart your computer, use the shortcut Command plus Control plus Eject or Power. Remember that exact combination of keys may differ depending on a specific Mac model and the keyboard that is used. For example, MacBooks with Touch ID sensor panel use the Touch ID button instead of the Power button. If your device has Magic Keyboard, the shortcuts can also differ. Here are some useful commands in Finder. Command plus N opens a new Finder window. To create a new folder, press Command plus Shift plus N. Another shortcut, Command plus Delete, will move it to the trash. Command plus Z will cancel the last action. If they wish, Mac users can create their own keyboard shortcuts for specific apps in macOS. Here is how it's done. Open System Settings, go to Keyboard, 
keyboard shortcuts, choose the tab app shortcuts, click on the plus button, choose the app for which you want to create a shortcut. In the menu title line, give the name of the command for which the keyboard shortcut must be created. In the keyboard shortcut field, set the combination of keys. Every application on Mac has a number of various hotkeys. You can find them in macOS system settings. Go to System Settings, Keyboard, Keyboard Shortcuts. Here you can see both global shortcuts and shortcuts for specific apps. Also, such information can be found in the preferences of a certain app. Summing up, today we have reviewed important and useful keyboard shortcuts in macOS operating system that will help you make your working routine more effective and convenient. We have explored basic shortcuts for copy, paste and undo operations and checked more advanced hotkeys for navigation, app management and text editing. Remember that these combinations may slightly differ in various applications and it's always useful to have a look at the shortcuts used in a specific app by checking its user manual or menu items. All in all, using shortcuts is an excellent way to speed up your everyday tasks and improve work productivity. And that is all for now. I hope this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave your comments under the video. Thank you for watching and good luck.